So unfortunately, I've still been struggling a little bit with finding decent items to resell in my thrift stores, whether that's because they're too high priced or just the quality isn't there. So this should be another fairly quick thrift haul and let's just get right into what I picked up. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on Poshmark and eBay, though I do sell locally at an antique mall and on other online platforms such as Mercari, Depop, and Facebook Marketplace. And like I said, this is another semi-small thrift haul. I have this stack of clothes, a couple squish, and one hard good to share with you. So let's get right into it. I spent about $90 for these items and it worked out to, I think 534 was my average cost of goods. So let's get into the two squish first. I dropped one on the floor. Um, this one I thought was a bunny rabbit at first and I've been super picky with these to be honest, um, but the cashier that works at my antique mall, she loves the woodland critters and nothing with like too much color. So I thought maybe this one would be up her alley. But anyway, I thought this one was a bunny until I realized it has a pouch and it's a kangaroo and it's so cute. And then the other one, I just could not leave because I thought it was probably the most adorable squish I've ever seen. And it's a turkey and I'm, kind of obsessed with him. He's got the little the little dangly thing. He's got his feathers in the back. I, I love him. He, he's the cutest. All right, one hard good. This one has no markings on it. It's kind of like a Murano style, I guess, like art, art flower. It's pink and then clear. So this is gonna go to my antique booth. I have no idea what I'm gonna price this at first. I will probably do like a Google lens search on it and then go from there. And then everything else that I got is clothing. None of it's listed yet because I have been slacking and I think I've listed like 40 items in all of April. Your girl has had other priorities going on. All right, so first we have a couple sports bras. I think there's another one in here somewhere. Um, and this one is from Buff Bunny. It's kind of faded on this, but here's the logo right here. It's a B with like the bunny inside, Buff Bunny size large. This one needs a sweater shave and a wash because it's got some like deodorant marks, but like right here, here's the logo again, by the way, but right here, there's a lot of pilling. So I got to take care of that, but large, great size. Sports bras do pretty well for me. I usually get about $25 and it's got like a strappy back going on. I found a pair of Lululemon shorts and I can't for the life of me find a size dot on them. I know they're women's. I might try them on and see if they fit me. I usually have a no, a no rule when it comes to activewear bottoms that don't have a size because they're impossible to measure, but I'm pretty sure these will probably fit me and they're a little bit of a longer length short, which I like. I don't like the little booty shorts, but there is a pocket on the back of the waistband, but there's no size dot to speak of in there. So I don't know why they're, it's missing. Maybe it came off in the wash or something. Another sports bra, but this one's from Gymshark. So here is the Gymshark logo, the little shark head. And this is a size small. It's a nice pastel green color, pretty basic. I did get two Lululemon tank tops. They were a little bit pricey. I want to say they had them at $7.99 each, but I did have 30% off um, at this time. And I think I'm going to keep these for myself. So this one is just black racer back. Neither of them have the sizes, but I'm pretty sure they're both the same because they're exactly the same style tank. And this one's like a little dusty purple. Like I said, same, same exact tank. This I only picked up because I think it was $4.99 or $4.49 and that was before the 30% off. This is Pilkrow, formerly Pilkrow in the letterpress, which is sold at Anthropology. It's got like a little suede tag and this is a size large. I couldn't decide if I thought this was cute or ugly. Uh, I think it's kind of in the middle <laughs> for me, but that doesn't mean it won't sell. It's like a thermal with the little buttons down the front. 
buttons or snaps rather on the cuffs so I think this will do fairly well this is a brand I've never found before and it's supposed to be pretty good I'm hoping for at least $50 on these the brand is I don't know if it's pronounced air or it's the letters a y r please feel free to let me know but here is the label a y r these are a size 28 they are a skinny but i do still sk sell skinny jeans they are have been cuffed but you can remove that cuff and then they have like a released raw hem cute really nice quality denim so i'm excited for those since i've never found that brand before i think this is the other buff bunny bra yeah also size large i already showed you guys the tag i'm pretty sure it was probably the same person that donated them this one has mesh details in the front and then it just crosses in the back with an open open area this is Athleta, which I've also been picky with because it hasn't been performing the best for me. Um, but these are a newer style and they are a wide leg. These are the Elation wide leg pant, size medium. When are the, I don't know when these are from because the tag is gone, but I can easily look them up. Super high rise. I like the purple color. And yeah, wide leg is popular. Wide leg and flare have come back. If you didn't know, all the Lululemon like lines, they now have a flare style and a wide leg style. So I think these will do pretty well. Then we have three or three pairs of denim, and then two, three activewear things, and then we're done. All right, so let's go over the activewear first. This is just a Nike sports bra. I'm going to keep this for myself. So I don't need to spend too much time on it, but it's just leopard print. And leopard print is a neutral for me. These are, speaking of aligns, these are aligns from Lulu. These are a size eight and I will be keeping these for me. They are just a gray color. I love the aligns, the material is my favorite, but I only like the thinner ones. If you have experience with wearing aligns, then you probably know what I mean, but there's like a thicker align pant and I don't like those because they're, they're icky for me, but I like the thin, the thin material aligns. Okay, this is a brand that I love to find. It always sells really fast for me, but I haven't found it in quite some time. It's called Fleo. These are a size extra small, so a little bit tiny, but I think they were like $4. So they did not know what these were, and these are like a blue camo. They do have a small bit of pilling on the back, but I can take care of that, no problem. I do own a sweater shaver. And then, yeah, three three pairs of jeans and that's it. So this is a brand I have not picked up in literal years, probably at least four years, but the comps on these looked pretty good, this specific style. Um, it's Joe's Jeans. There we go. They are a bitty size, they're a size 24, but the style is called the Goldie. The wash is called Flavor, I guess, cause that's on there. But these are like an ultra high rise only slightly distressed flare. So like I said earlier with the aligns and other active pants, flares and wide legs are very popular. So I'm excited for these. The comps look decent, so I should be able to get between like, oh, they have cat hair on them from my cat, not from the thrift store. Um, so these should go for 50 to 60, possibly more depending. Um, Next, I have two pairs of Good Americans. So the first is the Good Straight, size 1030. I'm pretty sure they're both the same size, probably donated by the same person. I still do well with Good American, even the skinnies. Um, so yeah, Good Straight. So just a basic, basic straight leg, decent size. And these are the Good Waist. They're like a lighter, lighter denim. I don't know if I showed you the tag, so if I didn't on the other pair, here's this pair. These aren't like a super skinny. They're like a slim straight, I would say. A little bit of distressing and a raw hem. So that's what I got for $90. I, I don't know, I've had really good luck in the book section if you've seen any of my YouTube shorts with all the good thrift books that I've been finding, but 
trying to find clothing and other things for resale has been a struggle and I have not been able to get to the bins for the month of April. So that's been also a factor in me not being able to find too many things to haul for you guys on YouTube. So I'm sorry, but hopefully things will get better as I continue to keep going to the thrift and I will be going to the bins for the month of May at some point. So you will have a bins haul soon, hopefully. Hopefully it's the next one that you see in two weeks, but I don't know. But yeah, that's my haul for $90. Let me know how you think I did, maybe what your favorite item was. And if you enjoyed this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. Other than that, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.